Hey everyone, I thought I would just make a quick video sharing my um, experiences on what and how to do if you use your if you lose your um, ignition key to your Corsa B, Opel Corsa B. First thing you need to do of course is removing the plastic covering, super easy, just need to tighten or loosen a few screws really really easy and then you need to remove the windshield control uh, handle it's also super easy two clips one here one here just slide it out then you will see this what you see right now is the ignition switch ignition barrel itself and the emo box so what happened to me is that I lost my one and only ignition key so there was no way around I had to uh, change uh, replace the ignition barrel itself so what I found out is that I had to bring the emo box to a specialist you can remove the emo box like this easy then you unplug this cable and that's all and you grab your ignition um, emo box sorry I'm just adjusting this so you need to um, bring your emo box to a local specialist who can make a brand new chip and pair them program the emo box to recognize the new key um, I suspect it could also work if you obtain an already paired uh, emo box with a key and of course uh, ignition barrel but uh, that wasn't an option for me so I brought this to a specialist and they manufactured the chip and then they paired it programmed it and then I had this Another separate thing, of course, you need to buy uh, an ignition barrel and then you need to remove the barrel. Of course, replace the new one, put this back and that's it. Um, one thing you need to keep in mind that in a normal case, the only way you can remove the barrel is if you put your switch to position 2 so this is 1, this is 2 and then you grab an allen key and there's a tiny hole here I hope you can see there's a tiny hole you need to place your allen key and then it will release the barrel it's just that easy what happens is you push this small thing um, yeah it's a good face now so what happened now is I have my um, lock on so before you could insert the lock you need to push down that little guy so you can insert your barrel you see I think I've failed to do that. Sorry for that. So I'm pushing Yes, I pushed down the whole thing. Ah sorry for this, this is 
maybe my second time. Okay, I'm in. <laughs> Sorry for that. Maybe my third or second time. So, that's the normal case. But in this case, of course, we've lost our key. So, what I did is grab the normal hardware store basic uh, electric drill, use the uh, around um, six millimeters of um, drill, went through the whole lock. This is the result. I've completely destroyed it. I know it looks bad, it's kinda barbaric, but it worked. So, why have I told you that you need to put your key to position 2? Because once you destroy this whole thing, at the end you should be able to turn the broken uh, barrel with a screwdriver. So once I saw that I can move the very end of it, I um, started to twist to position 2, then as discussed previously, inserted the Allen key and with the screwdriver I moved the already broken barrel to position 2 and then, um, thank God, I made it, it came out, then I was able to uh, put the new barrel in. Um, by the time I managed to do this whole thing, uh, it took around um, two or three days with uh, information collecting and uh, buying the barrel and um, bringing the emo box to the specialist. Uh, by the time I was able to do this, I already had the new emo box with my new key and the new chip and what you see right now is that I have ignition right now I only have one chip so I can show you what happens if you replace the ignition barrel but skip the step to make a new chip and pair it with your emo box so you will get a blinking and even if you are able to yeah you are not able to start the car even if you are able to start the car it will like stop like in three seconds so fortunately I was able to do this uh, I really hope that um, yes I really hope that uh, you find this useful um, of course after finishing the whole thing you need to uh, slide your uh, switch back and then put the plastic covering but that's just a piece of cake after you already made this so have a good day and cheers